Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today, I'm going to teach you how to enter your bills in QuickBooks Online. You can find all 46 of our free QuickBooks Online tutorials by Googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials. So today, we're going to talk about how to enter bills. So first of all, let's talk about when it's appropriate to enter a bill. Generally, there's two different ways to handle bills. Some companies like to pay bills immediately. They don't enter the bill into QuickBooks Online until they're actually ready to write a check. In that case, there's really no purpose in entering the bill. You can simply enter a check directly. You, you'll put the expense information, the purchase information directly in the check. Uh, we've already talked about how to do that if you're doing these tutorials in order. That's in our how to write and print checks. The second method of handling bills is to enter the bill immediately upon receiving it and then use QuickBooks Online to help you track the bills you owe and then you'll later pay the bill. And that's how I recommend doing it. So take advantage of QuickBooks' help in tracking your unpaid bills. So let's talk about that today, how to enter your unpaid bills. So let's start at our QuickBooks dashboard. To enter a bill, you're simply going to go to New, under Vendors, click Bill. Okay, choose the vendor that you've received a bill from. Uh, we'll say we received a bill from the County of Middlefield. Okay, all the information flows over from the vendor information you've previously entered. Uh, you'll want to enter a bill number or an invoice number from the County of Middlefield. Um, we'll say that's 1000. I always recommend that you put the invoice number or bill number uh, because QuickBooks will notify you if you accidentally try to enter the same bill twice. Uh, so that's very helpful. Um, sometimes, you know, especially from something like County of Middlefield, they may not have an invoice number, so you may not be able to do this. But anytime practical, enter the bill numbers so QuickBooks uh, can give you kind of that uh, warning if you try to enter something twice. Okay, so County of Middlefield, we've actually entered a bill from, for them before. Um, and charged it directly to the expense account business licenses and fees and so we're going to do that again that's what we're paying to County of Middlefield for a hundred dollars but now let's say this is for a very specific customer and so we're going to make this a billable expense and we're going to mark it up 50 percent okay assume we don't have to collect sales tax on that markup and we're going to bill those business uh, fees to Adam. We'll assume this was his project we're working on and we'll give this a I don't know class of exterior. Okay so this is the first way to enter expenses. You can enter them to the category which is just QuickBooks's terminology for an expense account. So we're we're entering this directly to the category of business licenses and fees and we're charging it after a 50 percent markup to Adam. So let's save and close this bill. Now let's enter another bill. So let's go to new, vendors, bill, and this time I want to purchase inventory. So let's see, who might I purchase inventory from? Um, let's say the electronics manufacturer. Again, all the information flows over automatically. We'll say this was bill number 1200. Now instead of entering it to a category, we're going to enter it as an item detail. So um, as a refresher, if you are not familiar with items, in our QuickBooks tutorials, in the second uh, part of our part one, we have this how to set up products and services list. So this will explain to you how you use the product and services list, when you should create them, um, and what their purpose is. And so here, We've already set up our items and pro our items list for products and services, and now we're going to use them. So essentially, you want an item set up for anything that you're going to sell, any product you're going to sell, or service you're going to sell to your customers. And so we're now buying a product that we will eventually sell to our customers. So this is inventory. So we don't want to use the category details. We want to put this under item. So let's choose the inventory item that we're purchasing from our electronics manufacturer. Let's say we're purchasing indoor electrical wire. 
Okay, so here under quantity, if you look, it, QuickBooks actually tells you the quantity that you already have on hand as 500. Very handy. So that's the reason you want to use the item details um, anytime that you're buying and selling inventory because QuickBooks keeps track of the quantity. If you use category details, there's no way to give them the quantity. So, and QuickBooks knowing the quantity is very important. It's not just for your reference, it's so that it can charge the correct amount to cost of goods sold when some of your inventory is sold. So again, extremely important. So we're going to say we're purchasing 50 of this indoor electrical wire at 75 cents. Um, we're not going to mark it as billable because we're just buying it right now. We're not we're not passing it through to a customer. It's going to sit in our inventory and we'll eventually sell it to a customer and that's when we'll invoice the customer, not at this point. So we're going to keep the billable uh, markup all empty. All we have to do is give it a class. Uh, we'll call it bath and vanity. Okay, and that's it. So a bill for $37.50 from electronics manufacturer, save and close. Okay, so let's look at our unpaid bills. I love this report. Let's go to reports. If you scroll down to what you owe, here is unpaid bills. Notice I've clicked the star. By clicking the star, unpaid bills actually shows up here in my favorites. So let's go to our unpaid bills list. And there's a couple others than that other than what we had just entered. But here we have the one we just entered to County of Middlefield for $100. And we also have the one to Electronics Manufacturer for $37.50. Okay, so I suggest you pay bills maybe once a week. Look at this uh, unpaid bills list before you make your uh, decisions. You can go through here, choose which bills need to be paid, and very quickly pay them. Okay, when you actually go to pay the bills, let's go over that. That's the, the next tutorial, but I'll give you just a little bit of a sneak peek here. Um, so let's go to our uh, so automobile county of Middlefield, this $100. All we have to do is we're on this bill. All we have to do is click make payment and it's going to pull up a screen where we can pay it. Okay, that's the next tutorial, uh, but very, very simple. Entering the bill is the hard part. Paying it is the easy part. Okay, one other thing I want to show you. Remember, we uh, the county of Middlefield, we're passing this uh, license and fee through to Adam. And so let's create that invoice real quick. So let's go to sales, invoices, create invoice or another way to do it we can just go to new customers invoice let's choose Adam and here we go here's this hundred remember it's a hundred dollar license and fees we marked it up 50 percent up to 150 so as soon as we create an invoice for this customer QuickBooks reminds us to add this billable expense so all I have to do is click add and there we go it added the billable expense to our customer, shows the original $100 and the $50 markup. It won't give this detail to your customer. It'll just show it as a permit for $150. It won't show the markup separately. Okay, save and close. And there we go. We build our customer for that expense. Very simple. Great. Well, thank you. I hope that this was very useful. Um, and I hope to see you in another QuickBooks Online tutorial. Please remember to Google free QuickBooks Online tutorials from Fit Small Business. Thank you.